Bro code, bro code, we in new modes And we do it better sticking together, won't bend, won't fold No, I got your back through whatever weather, rain, sleet, or snow Make it profit while we get to the cheddar We in that mode, you know if we got a problem We pull up in that jet, fit for all of my bros Collective like the colors in the rainbow All of that talking you did on the net We know that you only did it for a post If I pull up then I get in the tank I need me like 500k for a show Or maybe more And I got all of the stars in the ceiling Cause we in a row Yeah, just for the bros Brothers forever, so you know we got each other back We aiming for gold Sticking together, tell us about the weather We never slack, gotta stick to the code Bro code, bro code We in new modes And we do it better sticking together Won't bend, won't fold No, I got your back to whatever Whether rain, sleep, or snow, make it profit while we get to the cheddar. They know we own. Take off, we What's going on, fellas? What's up, What's up, man? Man? Hey, back in the studio. One more time. One more time, man. We are at our final episode of the season. Man, time is flying. What? Season finale. Say it ain't so, man. Yes, sir. Flew yes, sir. Flew by. Flew by. So, first of all, let's give a big shout out to all our fans who've been following us, supporting us. The real uh, MVP. Yes, thank y'all. Thank so you. much subscribing to our channel thank follow you, us you. giving the comments we, we really appreciate you. all that uh youtube has been a great platform for us uh we're looking right. to keep going uh keep this momentum going as we're doing it yes sir uh just have fun just 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 learn from each other yeah. uh, and learn from you guys you yeah. know a lot comes at us in the world so we have a lot of stuff to choose from to talk to uh talk about yes you yes. know so uh, before i get into the topic i do want to introduce our guest for the day yes sir um this uh this is one of my homeboys uh near and dear to me He's hung out with all of us on a, a number of occasions. Yep. Um, really good brother. Um, Brandon, South Georgia's finest. Yeah, from all South Georgia, way. you know, country bread. <laughs> 229. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 229 representing for real. Um, you know, I, I brought Mike on the show. Uh, hey, what's his name? Uh, his name is Michael. He's going to introduce himself. This is Mike McKinley. This is, this is McKinley. This is, let yes, me get sir. it right. Oh, yeah. This is McKinley. And we're gonna... McKinley. <laughs> McKinley. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I particularly bought... Mike on the show um, because he's been the ultimate definition of a friend, um, um, you know, and I, I'll give you your flowers uh, at, at another time. But uh, I do want to, uh, I want our fans to recognize that this is somebody that I truly respect, um, has a lot of insight, a lot of knowledge. Um, so without further ado, I want to introduce my homeboy, McKinley Holmes. Why don't you tell the people a little bit about you, man? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Hey, but how y'all doing? How you doing? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Did you forget something? What's that, boss? Yep. Before we get into that, let's go. I ain't forgetting anything. So. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, look at his face. <laughs> go check me on camera. He's like, he like, he like, this is a lamp, so we ain't gonna do it like this. Right. What's up? <laughs> so, what's, what you wanna yeah. do now? Go, go ahead, McKinley. Go ahead and introduce yourself, man. <laughs> hey, how, how everybody doing? I'm McKinley Holmes. <laughs> Uh, from Damascus, Georgia, like I said, I've been on AC and the fellas for a minute. Yes, sir. Um, and I'm just glad to be here. Just, you yeah. know, been up in Atlanta since 2005, so it's been kind of interesting, but yeah. see it all little change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, Good well, stuff, the man. Fellas know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Welcome, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the fellas know what I'm talking about. Welcome, for real. And, we'll, and, we'll, and we'll get welcome, into welcome, it. Welcome, 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 Mike. So, welcome. hey, just, 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 um, Glad to have you on the show, man. Yes, sir. Um, and Thank you for joining us. Yeah. To be here on the final episode of. Bro code. <laughs> so you, you good now? Yeah, you got. We, we, did we get it out for you? <laughs> <laughs> he was on there with the face like, "What are you doing?" Man, we what got a doing? time limit. We got a time limit on bro code, baby. My bad, oh, but uh, nah, man. So Mike, glad to have you on the show, man. All right, so we're gonna do this a little different. All right, guys. You know, I know we, you know, we we have some juicy topics. We have some. Um, uh, educational topics, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, whether it's finance, whether it's relationships. We, we do right. a lot on this panel. Um, right, right, right. But with that being said, you know, I really want our fans to get to know us a little deeper, right? So our topic today and um, our purpose <sighs> is to really try to dig deep into <laughs> ourselves okay. as black men. So our topic today is unmasking mm -hmm. a dialogue for black men. Okay. No, okay. I like, I like Don't that. Don't talk. Uh, okay. What you got, cool? That cool, cool was a little worried no, about no, this. No, 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 no. Honestly, I'm going to be honest. Real transparent right now. Yep. When you sent the slide and I saw it, 
I was like, what's this? Mm-hmm. My, my boy. <laughs> I, I, I said, right. I said, my boy. It's I, time I, to I like that. It's time, bro. I, I like it. It's, 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 it's a lot. It's real deep. It, it's, it's real but, deep. But you know yeah. what? We do a great job of just yeah. talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let, let, let's let's yeah. take the mask off. Yeah. So uh, first, we're just going to go around. All right. And then each one of us is going to participate in this. Yes, and it's going to be really structured. So um, it's going to be, like I said, it's going to be a little different from what we're normally used to. But um, I want everybody to start. And we'll start from left to right. Um, and basically just, you know, introduce what's your name, where you live, uh, why do you podcast, uh, or share your opinions, and what is your passion? So Rico, we'll let you start. So uh, Rico, Rico Harmon. Um, Georgia boy, born and raised. Um, ATL. ATL. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ATL for show. You know what I'm saying? Born and raised like Decatur. Decatur yeah. where's greatest. Yeah. Where's greatest. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a east side, east side, <laughs> east side rider. Right? East side rider. Right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so, and, and today I still stay on the east side. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, that's cool. Um, that's cool. So, uh, why do I podcast? Uh, I never even thought about it. Until to my boy O came to me and said, "Hey man, I got this idea." Yeah. Right. Yeah. And he kind of told me what he wanted to do and and try to try to uh, reach people and educate them on certain things. Right. Just giving our opinions uh, mm-hmm. from a from a black male's perspective. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I said, "Man, that's." I said at first I was kind of hesitant. I was like, "Nah, this is gonna be pretty." I said, "This is this is something that I should do yeah. for sure." Right. Yeah. Yep. And I, I haven't, you know, what I'm saying, haven't regretted it at all. Right? Yeah. Love yeah. doing it. Can't wait to, you know, saying for the next show. Look forward to it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and um, and my passion right now is um, really uh, for me is 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 supporting my family and making sure that I, you know, saying leave something for my kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like start, like like start starting the legacy for my family, yeah. right? Because yeah. we talk about how we we. As you know, some black people, we've always had to struggle, right? And we, right. you know, saying we start from the ground and right. trying to work our way up, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to put it in a position where my kids are not start, starting from there, right? right. So when they get there, they're gonna, they gonna have them leave them something. Give them that head right, start. Right, that's right. right. That's yeah, good. Yeah, that's yeah, real good, good Rico. Yeah. Yes, sir. <clears throat> it's my turn, I guess. Yeah, man. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> Man, <laughs> Dr. James E. Dr. Cooper Jr. Doc, Doc Cooper. Doc. Yes. Baby, Georgia, Post City, born and bred, man. Oh. You know, I live out here in the east side as yeah. well. Uh, why do I podcast? You know what's funny is my best friend and I were going to start a podcast, like, years previous. And we both had just, we both were just so busy, we just never got around to doing it. And when O reached out to me, initially I was like, no. Nah. <laughs> and O, he was like, just think about it, man. Don't say no, just think about it, call me yeah. back. And I was like, you know what? This might be a good opportunity yeah. to kind of get my feet wet, see if it's something that I like and want to do. Mm-hmm. And uh, I can definitely say I'm, I'm, I'm appreciative, first and foremost, that you thought enough for me to reach out and yeah. you know, ask me to be a part of it. And, Secondly, for bringing all us, you know, me and these, yeah. you know, group of guys and yeah. being here when these few, you know, four seasons and yeah, now. Exactly, <laughs> four seasons. Learning from each other and, yeah. and, and growing and, and not just from a podcast perspective, but as, you know, as men yeah. um, and as, as adults, you know, from, you know, seeing where we started from to where we are now. Yeah. So I yeah. uh, definitely uh, appreciate being part of this and I, I yeah. definitely enjoy it. You know, being able to come and do this. Yeah. Um, and my passion, my passion right now is life, man. Um, just just living, waking up every day. Every day that I'm given to wake up, I smile and I start my day. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I just good, bad, whatever. I'm cool. Yeah, like is. I'm chilling, man. <laughs> like I'm just, I just enjoy living now. There it is. That's where I'm at, man. That's good stuff, man. Yeah. All right, for me, guys, uh, Alan Combs. Uh, 229 representative as yes, well uh, from South Georgia. Post City, baby. Post City, uh, Bainbridge, Georgia. <laughs> um, why do I podcast? Yeah. Again, Rico, like you said, I never thought about podcasting until Orlando brought it to me. Yeah. Um, at that time when he brought it to me, and actually, I believe the conversation that kind of stirred it, I think it was on his mind, um, but what stirred it was him finding out kind of what I was going through and where I was at a certain point in my life, right? At that mm-hmm. time in my life. Um, I was a little reluctant. I don't right, right, right. get no camera right now. Right. You know, I, was, I was going through stuff, right? Yeah. I was going, I don't know. You know, but uh, he encouraged me. Um, you know, I knew you was gonna be a part of it. I didn't know Rico at the time, but um, I just went with my gut and I said, all right, I'll do it, mm-hmm. you know? 
and it's been one of the best thing, one of the best decisions I've ever made. So, uh, oh, again, thank you, man, for Appreciate for it, making boy. that push, man. Um, so, why do I podcast? I, I really podcast because it gives me a platform to talk. Right. Um, one of the things you guys know about us black men is we don't really open up and talk. You know, so we had a platform. Yeah, Bro Code has been that platform for me to just mm-hmm. listen. You know, you guys always bring mm-hmm. insight, mm-hmm. learn, mm-hmm. write, contribute. Mm-hmm. So it's 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 giving me all that and it's helping me grow. So that's why I do it. Um, what is my passion? My passion, I would say, I've always been. I've, you know what? I've always been a person that had a lot of people around me, a lot of friends, started out with a lot of cousins and, you know, back home and everything like that. Just always had a big circle, I would say. Um, I was quiet, you know, but I always found myself, even through adolescence and adulthood, I found myself being a person that likes connecting, like connections, right? Oh, man, you, you looking for this? And I'm over here, maybe two months later, and I'm hearing this. You know what, I got somebody, you know, and making those connections throughout life, I, I've come to realize just recently that that's something I'm passionate about, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, thankful for a friend that actually asked me the question, Alan, what are you passionate about? At first, I was like, nothing really. Mm-hmm. Man. But when I thought about it, that was my passion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. <clears throat> this is it. Well, my <clears throat> name is uh, McKinley Holmes from Damascus, Georgia. Yeah, just like in the Bible, Damascus. <laughs> <laughs> you can find a lot of things on the road to Damascus. That's what my We're grandma was from. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Damascus, Georgia. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what our podcast, I think it's very important to, to be able to share your opinions. Um, I think a lot of times you don't think outside of your group how many mm-hmm. people need to hear the information. Yes. Because yes. sometimes we, we can have friends, we can talk to those friends, and we could share things, but... Sometimes the people attached to those friends need to hear it as well. Mm-hmm. So this gives you opportunity to say something that can impact more than the people that you know. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you never know somebody can say that one thing. Right. Yep. They can right. change things around. So yep. that's why I like the podcast. Yep. What's my passion? In this season, it's, it's health as wealth. Yeah. yeah. And what I mean by that, you know, I'm 49. My father passed away at 53. Yeah. His father passed away when I think when he was like four. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I try to make sure you got to get checked. If you, you feel it off, go yeah. to the doctor, make sure you get yourself checked. Yeah. Health is wealth. Because I tell you, the greatest gift that you can give your family is never money. It's time. Mm-hmm. That's true. And as, being, yeah. as long as you're living here, they can get a chance to see you as an example of what they can achieve. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So to me, passion, health is wealth, and that's what I'm passionate about. There it season. is. There it is. Last but not least. Oh, what you got, baby? Uh, but y'all, I, I, had, I had to take a break because y'all got me emotional over here, man. Well, we ain't even got started yet. Yeah, you need to look at the camera, so, man. Uh, you want a group hug, man? man you funny, man. You funny. I was just saying, man. So, you want a group hug right now. A group hug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Orlando, Orlando Anderson, um, born in Florida, Florida boy. Um, raised in the 229. Yeah. Post know, City. Yeah. Post City. You know, <laughs> moved there to go to high school and all that good stuff. Um, mm-hmm. Why do I podcast? Um, like I said, this this was a gift from God to me, you know, um, going through a lot, you know, a lot of stuff, you know, and I always, you know, have tried to be a mentor and had mentors. You know what I'm saying? One of my favorite mentors, um, even though he liked to stay behind the scenes. You know, for broke hole. <laughs> um, we ain't gonna say no uh, name. Right, right. Say no name. <laughs> Tony. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, you know, he, he has really been a true of uh, inspiration to me uh, over the years. Um, you know, some of the advice he had given me, some of the way he had pushed me and challenged me, made me think outside the box. Yeah. You know, when it comes, whether it comes to relationship, money, it don't matter. Whatever I go to him about, he gonna he gonna push me and you know what I'm saying have me think outside the box. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I truly, you know. I don't know, I really love him for that. Yeah. Like I'm saying, so you know, you know, me podcasting is, is for me to be able to, you know, be that voice for for not just black men for all men. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So when I when I first, you know, what I'm saying when when it was brought to me when God said, "Hey, you gonna start a podcast?" I was like, "Okay, 
you know, and he gave me the the, the, the logistics of what it's going to be and all that. Yeah. I was like, okay, so let me, let me reach out to all my boys and we'll see, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, went to high school with these two guys, you know what I'm saying? Me and yeah. Rico, you know, worked out, you know, Rico like a little brother to me. So, you know, we always shared a lot of stuff, did a lot of things and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? You know, went to the gym, he shared his dad with me, his dad like my dad, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, he then been knowing Mike for a little while. So, I was like, let me call all my homeboys up. So, I called, I called about eight guys. The crazy part, I called about eight guys. And I was like, just meet his Sunday, okay? Only these three guys showed up. <laughs> they were looking around, they were like, so what we gonna do, bro? And I was like, let's run it. You right. Know what I'm so, you know. We've been running it ever since. Right. Right. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> can't go. And the first, yes, the first right. topic we did was about something we all knew about, was about fatherhood. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, you know, <coughs> just, just, go, just test it out. So, right. un, to be honest with y'all, after we did that first show, I was like, well, it, this went good. So I was kind of asking them, like, oh, y'all come back next week? <laughs> I was like, y'all come back next week? They were like, yeah, bro, we we'll be back next week? Yeah. I was like, okay, we can yeah. just get next week. <laughs> and before you know it, boy, we had put in the whole season. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And yeah. The in the living room. room. In right. the living room. room. That's right. 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 Yeah. And the craziest thing, bro, <laughs> since then, we, gonna, we, we, we literally, it, and it's like, every time I think about it, it's, it's an emotional thing. I'm like, bro, we're going to season five. Yeah. Like, I've been waiting for these guys to get tired. They ain't got tired yet. <laughs> nah, I'm man. like, because we're growing. And, 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 and not, we got a lot no, of talk no, about it. <laughs> not, not just that. The, the most important part to me, because me and Tony talked about it before we even started doing it. And I was like, he's like, you got you to gotta share the platform with these guys. Let's, let's give yeah. these guys a chance. That's a good let's segue. Talk. So I'm going to cut y'all right there because we're right. going to keep, gonna keep it moving. Yeah. Was that, is that what mm, you're passionate about? Uh, 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 uh. So my passion. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Passion, right. Right. Get it past my, <laughs> my, my passion is, <laughs> um, to be honest, like showing the youth that it don't matter where you come from. Nice. You can make it. Yeah, That's it my passion. Yeah, yeah. Everything I put my energy into is to show not only my kids but everybody. It doesn't matter where you come from. You can be somebody. Right. And, the kid, and, and our youth need that, yeah. man. Especially our, our black boys. I'll be specific. Our black boys need that. So shout out to you, mothers. man. Yeah, yeah. They do. They really do, man. Appreciate yeah. you guys just kind of shedding some light. Let our fans see who we are, kind of behind the mask, right? Yeah. Like see who right. who we are as men. Uh, so appreciate those introductions, guys. Before we get into it, so and we only got two rounds of questions, that two series of questions, two rounds. So set a series of questions that we're gonna do. But before we get into it, I kind of shared some conversation agreements. Um, this, like I said, this is gonna be a little different of how we normally do our podcast. Okay. Uh, so I'll share the agreements. I know everybody read them, um, but we're we're gonna be curious and listen to understand. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna show respect, no judgment. Mm -hmm. All right. We're gonna know any common ground, so we're gonna be talking and maybe able to pick it back off. So we may have some differences, all mm -hmm. right. Um, but we're gonna note that and kind of like try, try to add to it if right. we can. Uh, we're gonna be authentic and welcome that from others, mm -hmm. all right. Um, like we've already done. I mean, just in the introduction, I already see that you guys, y'all are on go for real. So. Oh yeah, we ready. Yeah, we ready. You know, oh, so yeah. and we gonna we gonna be purposeful and to the to point. The point. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> my dog and we're gonna own and guide the conversation yes, right sir. so um so let's get into it guys so uh let's take the mask off round one getting to know each other all right so each one of us is going to take one all right just pick one question uh, i'll read them out and then somebody pick one uh you can go we, we don't have to go in order but just somebody pick one um the questions are what are your hopes and concerns for your family community and or the country who am I and why am I here? Uh, that's one question. Another question you could choose. What would your best friend say about you, about who you are? Coop, I know you touched on your best friend uh, briefly. What sense of purpose, mission, duty guides you in life? So don't let everybody jump all at one time, but <laughs> so I'm a, I, I'll go first. Yeah. I'll go first. <laughs> tell, let, tell, let me get my let me get my phone uh, uh, right. So so when I read tissue, your uh, tissue, right? when I read your uh, you know was reading through your slides earlier, right? Yeah. Because me and my best friend we talk like mm -hmm. all day long, every day, mm -hmm. and we like it don't matter. You know we at work. Yeah. We call each other. We tap it up like whatever. Yeah. And. Uh, so when I read that question, I was like, 
I didn't wonder what he would say, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, you know, we cut up all the time. So I, I sent him, I said, I said, answer this question. I said, to stop playing. <laughs> I, I have to tell him, stop playing. That's that's playing. See, play, he, you know you play too much. <laughs> so I'm going to read, I'm going to be transparent and read what my best friend said about me that's today. That's dope, right? man. <laughs> so when I sent the question, he said, my best friend is peace. Don't effing pee him off, though. Uh, yeah. Right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He's been my calm when my world was noisy and chaotic. Mm. He's love. He's logical and reasonable. My best friend is a comedian. I cut up and play all the time. Mm -hmm. I love laughing with him and seeing him smile and hearing him laugh. I love him so much. My best friend is a trusted <coughs> advisor. I'm comfortable being my true, authentic self in his presence, and he is the one, only one in this world I feel this way towards. Wow. He's my heart. That's awesome, right? man. Yeah. So yeah. now, there's two men, mm -hmm. right? Because we've known each other since like eighth grade. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We've known each other. We've grown together. We've become men together. We've right. become parents together. We've become uh, workers, employees. Um, We've been in relationships with different people. Like we know the intimacies and intricacies of each other's life, yeah. right? Yeah. And we've shared that uh, unapologetically, no filters, no masks, transparent. Yeah. And you know, as two men, it's difficult for men to be like that with each other. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. It's difficult for a man to say, "I love you, man." That's right. That's right. You yeah. know? Yeah. Right. And it not be an uncomfortable situation. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I know this man since eighth grade. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've been friends since eighth grade. Yep. Like, when I say solid, friend, solid friendship. Like, like, yeah. Like, 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 solid, like, like, and I, and, and I might get emotional. Yeah. And I'm sorry, it's but it's all, it's all good, man. It's all good. Right. I'm a <laughs> firm believer in. Mm -hmm. The Lord putting people in your life, mm -hmm. right? Always. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because he know what you need, mm -hmm. right? That's right. Either at that moment yep. or for the future. Yep. You talking about we 46. Mm -hmm. We 30 plus years in this thing. Long time. <laughs> you know Long what I'm saying? Time. That's right. Yep. I can't, I couldn't have asked for a better friend. Yeah. Yeah. And that's my, nothing but a blessing from God. Yeah, man. man. That, my you know bad, I mean? my good. Yeah. Everything. Watching y'all kids grow. Yeah. You know, that's, that's His awesome. daughter, my boys. Like, yeah. if I left the earth tomorrow or tonight, I know my boys are good because yeah. I know he's going to take care of them. That's it. Man, that's invaluable yeah. right there. And, and that's, you know, I'm going to do the same. That's yeah. priceless. That's priceless, man. Yeah. You can't, you can't, it, it's, yeah. and that's from a person that we weren't even birthed from the same woman. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I have family members, I can't yeah. even trust you to go yeah. down the street and get me a drink. Exactly. Sure. <laughs> I know. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Is yeah. that crazy how that yeah, works? Yeah, it's very crazy. Mm -hmm. it's very you can crazy. get more love from a complete stranger that you meet and make friends with than mm -hmm. your own family that you grow up with yep. being around each and every day. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And that's tough. Yeah. That's tough, man. But. Yeah, I, you know we, uh, you know, like I said, you know, I, 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 I pass it on to somebody else because <laughs> I can see how all day, man. But you know, cool, I, the yeah. Lord definitely blessed me with a good best friend, yeah. man, and I just I couldn't ask for a better one, man. Yeah, I and couldn't ask for a better one. We're so grateful for your, you know, your friendship and that y'all have that, man, because you have been so, so much of a value to us and in this panel, you know, I what I'm saying. It, so you having that support, it only just helps you help others, mm -hmm. you know. So. Uh, for me, uh, I'll take the question of what sense of purpose, mission, duty, guys, and guys, you in your life. Um, I have been a very big uh, believer in Jesus Christ. Right? Mm -hmm. um, have I always stayed straight and narrow? No, I haven't. Mm -hmm. But I was brought up in the Word, um, and even though I will falter, I always come back. I know my purpose in life now. Failed marriage, had some successes, mm -hmm. failed marriage, beautiful kids, healthy, loving family, friendships, I'm blessed. Mm -hmm. What am I going to do with that? 
My purpose is to serve others. My purpose is to be a bright spot in everybody's life that I come in contact with, no matter what. Mm -hmm. That is my purpose. Mm -hmm. I want that to transition into my kids, being law-abiding citizens, being responsible. They may fail. Daddy failed. But if you give them a road, a guide to go down, they may take detours, mm -hmm. but they know where to come back to. My purpose, again, is to give them that roadmap. They'll know my failures, they'll know my successes, but they'll see me living out my purpose as they grow up. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> anybody oh, else? I will, um, <clears throat> I probably would take the, the last one too, the third one too. I was kind of fluctuating between the first one and the third one. Cause you know, it's, it's kind of a, a concern in, in, in both of them. Um, Take your time, bro. Yes, sir. <clears throat> it's tough, man. We being real tonight. We being real on Broco tonight, baby. <laughs> Season finale, baby. Let's honestly, get into honestly, it. Honestly, man, I, um, real man crap. It used to be yeah, a yeah, sir. That's right. I didn't really know what my purpose was. Um, like I said, I, I used, to, used, to, used to talk to Tony about a lot of stuff. You know, trying to really figure it out. Yeah. So, you know, I, I was doing a whole lot of stuff, trying to really take, you know, stay busy to hide the, the pain and hurt from being alone and st stuff like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it got to a point where even when you have people around you, it's you know, you, you still alone. feel that alone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I would always question my purpose. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, when I was diagnosed with cancer, you know, that's when it really kind of hit me because, like I said, you know, being on that journey, I, like I said, I have a high tolerance for pain. You know what I'm saying? And believe it or not, you know, working out a lot, you know, trying to stay in shape, mm -hmm. you know, the, the pain, I just thought it was just a pain, you know, that I was experiencing. You know what I'm saying? So one day, me and Rico was working out. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. dog. Yeah. Hey. Let it out, man. It's all good. He was like, bro, you go to the hospital. Yeah. And I was like. Yeah. I was like, the, the pain is like, you know, I was able to deal with it for a sense, but he was like, Bro, I'm looking at you, man. And like, you know, any other time, you know, you, you know, you would stop and then stop. But he said, bro, this particular time, bro, I'm looking at you and like, I really feel like you need to go get checked out. So I went and got it, you know, checked out, called an hospital. That's when I found out, you know what I'm saying, that I had cancer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the, 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 the part of, you know, trying to figure out what the purpose was, yeah. I feel like my purpose was to still be here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So at that, at that moment, I was like, you know, if I beat this, you know, this, it, it has to be a reason for me to be here. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Going through cancer, battling cancer, you know what I'm saying? I still felt that alone space. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you know, so I had family members that had even come check on me. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to my sister who was there, you know what I'm saying, every step of the way, you know, from me being in the hospital and to me, you know what I'm saying, going through chemo, battling that stuff, you know what I'm saying. Shout out to you, bro. Like, like I said, when I tell you, my little brother, I, 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 I mean that to the heart. Yeah. Because like literally, he was there for me when I battled cancer. Yeah. He brought me water, yeah. medicine, stuff like that. Yeah. So he, he would forever have him. Yeah. A place for heart. Mm -hmm. For sure, you too, man. Yeah. 
Man, I, I I didn't even know that you had cancer and that you was as far along as you was and all. Yeah. I think you was ringing the bell and Stacy posted the video on Facebook and I was like, I was like, dang, why he ringing the bell? And I and I think I ended up calling you and I was like, I said, dog, you you straight? Like you you good? And you was like, man, I had like you know cancer or whatever. And I was like, like what? And, yeah. and that's because and that's because he sat there. And for months and months and months, he talked about the pain. He was dealing with it. Yeah. Right? yeah. And then trying to be, you know, normal, tough. And, yeah. and you know what I'm saying? Hey, if something hurt, I'm just going to, you know what I'm saying? I'm a man. I'm just going to suck it up. That's right. And just try to keep moving, right? That's right. <clears throat> and like he said, like, I, I, I know I know him, right? And and it was just like, man, it's, it's, it's I could tell it started being too much, mm -hmm. man. And, mm -hmm. and like, it's, you don't have to be, you know what I'm saying, tough around us. You don't yeah, got to right, be tough for exactly. nobody, right? right? Yeah. That's right. You know what I mean? And, and, <clears throat> and I particularly said, I said, man, you, we pay all this money to insurance, stuff like that, man, use it. Yeah, use if not, it. If you're not feeling good, man, go get checked right. out, man. That, it's not, it's not you, like somebody looking down upon you because you want to go to the doctor and see what's wrong with yourself, mm -hmm. right? You, we, like me at the time, I was like, I want you to be here, you know what I'm saying? Be, it, maybe that's selfish, man. I want you here for me too, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, that's right, right. Like you yeah. my boy, right? So go and, and, and check, man. Yeah. You know, that's and, that's yeah. how I was feeling. And, yeah. it, and if you want to be honest, you, you talk about what your purpose was. Yeah, I mean, you can look, look, look what we look, yeah, look what we look, doing, look what, what we put together, man. That's right. This was your purpose. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. Yeah. Five, you know, five seasons together. later. Yeah, four seasons later. And creating you know? a brotherhood, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, and, and like I said, the, the, like I said that that's why like I said it become you know, when I when I put all the energy into this, I yeah. feel like that was part of my mission to mm -hmm. be able to you know say not only. You know, because it's like I said, you know, you especially, Cooper will tell you, man, mm -hmm. I blew his phone up over the craziest stuff. <laughs> and he done repeated his advice, Tony will tell you, the same thing, they done repeated their advice over and over and over. Yeah. But they patience. Mm -hmm. Like, bro, you know what? Good I know he ain't going to listen. That's right. right. I'm just going to sit back and wait till he come back and say he did. It's like something I told you like five, six times ago. That's right. But, you know, but, but, right. But God, they, they've been patient with me because they know eventually he going to get it. That's you right. Know what I'm saying? That's right. So I feel like my mission, you know, like I said, was to start this and really, you know what I'm saying, be a voice, you know, for people that basically, you know, want to say the things that we're saying, just don't know how to say it. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So th this panel has always been, I, like I said, I tell people all the time, because no matter who I'm talking to, the first question I'm asking, you watch podcasts? <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. Okay, well, let me give you this link. There it is. Oh, like, I'm like, I'm, I'm, well, I'm at work. He's serious, he's too. Pushing, he, 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 he do it. Man. He do it. Like, we growing, man. We growing. Right. <laughs> wherever, I'm, wherever I'm at, I'm, saying, I'm, 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 I'm asking people questions. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think, okay, here, take this link. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying, well, you got YouTube on your phone? Go to YouTube. Let me show you how to get yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then sometimes I get a phone. Subscribe. <laughs> I'm saying, well, so, I mean, so because, let's, keep, let's keep it going. Yeah. Oh, we got we got, we got two more, man. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So mine is pretty simple, man. So mine, the question is, what are what are my hopes and concerns for my family and community, right? Yeah. And I'm gonna kind of lump that together, right? I, I just hope that one day we can, as a people, as a black people, right, we can stop being the crabs in the barrel, right? Yeah, right. And we can and we can always look at my my brother and bring him up, yes. right? right? Um, so and, and that's gonna be a part. It starts with like teaching my immediate family and friends yeah. and stuff like that. Hey, you don't have to be, you know, what I'm saying. Pushing the next man down, man. You right. you grab him and pull him up. Pull him up. That's right. right. Yeah. Um, and you you see strict a lot of numbers, yeah yeah strict yeah. numbers. You see a lot of other uh, cultures, right? They always do it, right? Yeah. They always do it, yeah. right? You see, you go to some of these communities, like if it's if it's Asian, Hispanic, or whatever. Like if if you got entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, they they're in a whole plaza with just all their people, right? Yeah. And then their people in the community, their people in their community so cool. go and shop in that plaza, right? Same Whether it's, plaza. you know, same plaza. It's, right. it's dentists, yeah. it's doctors, it's restaurants. That's right. It's, and, they, and, they, and, and they're together, mm -hmm. right? They get um, money, everybody get money. Get yeah. money, like it's even when they, when they come over here and they say, hey, you know, we don't have nothing, but we're going to pool our resources together and then mm -hmm. eventually my people will be able to go out and 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 do better, yeah. right? right? Instead right. of leaving those behind and just let oh you go fend for yourself, right? That's kind of what I want to see for, yeah. for 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 our community and, yeah. and you know my family. If yeah, you is, right? if you go to Decatur right now, it is a whole shopping center 
of nothing but light Indians. Correct. Yeah. And on the flip side, <laughs> if you go to Black Wall Street in Latonia, right. Stonecrest, it's empty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. It's, I, I, yeah. I, I, I know back then because I walked I was in there walking. Yeah, because I know you said you going to the other a handful of businesses in there. Yeah, but, that was, yeah. That, was, that, was the new, that was a new attempt that was recent to, to start, you know, yeah. some mm-hmm. commerce type stuff, right? Right. But what I'm saying is 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 that's that's a good start, right? But we need to probably su- support them. Right? We need to support right. them. Yeah, yeah. 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 But it's, it's, it's the... You know, the overall, like I said, that's just the the, the purchasing of materialistic things, right? Mm-hmm. But like I said, if the doctor's offices and stuff like that, we just got to yeah. get together and, yeah. and try to create and, that. And you yeah. know, I, I agree with you as far as the um, the crab in the barrel type mentality, because believe it or not, I really feel like we part of the only race that do that because you so much concerned about what the next man have that if you feel like if you pull him up or help him out. He gonna have more than you, so now you your mindset is like, well, if it won't be for me, then he won't have all that. But now he turned his no. My biggest thing is because like I tell people all the time, if I see somebody with something, I'm not finna hate on you. Right. If I if I like it, I'm gonna come to you and ask you how you got it. Because right. my thing, it might be something you could turn me on to, or it might be some kind of way I'm, I might be budgeting my money that could change it. That's gonna get me to the same mentality that that you have. Exactly. But me hating on you ain't gonna have me mo- no more, no less. That's right. Yep. What about you, McCain? Mike, what you got, man? Oh, man. Sitting there looking at the list. Uh, I like that, that who, I, who I am. Okay. Who I am as a, as a, as a black man that was born to a, a father that wasn't really a father. You know, I got a chance to, to, to change my family legacy by trying to be a better man. Okay. I saw my father be an angry mm-hmm. alcoholic. And then I, I didn't quite understand him until I got older. Yeah. He lost his father and he had to start working and my father couldn't read or write. Yeah. My mother didn't have a high school education. So who am I? I'm the one that that did graduate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm the one that kids have graduated, mm-hmm. have become engineers, have become successful. I I like to look at it like I'm the game changer. Yeah. Because it shows yeah. like I grew up in houses that didn't have running water. Yeah. 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 Like I used to, I hear Shannon Sharp say all the time, man, we used to go to the woods to use the bathroom. Yeah. We did. Yeah. Right. And, and, mm-hmm. and that meant something. Mm-hmm. So now it's like, I like being a game changer, like being a kind of a friend. Yeah. Like, like being passionate about things. And, and me, it's like, why am I here? I'm here to make a difference. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Everyone that I impact, like friends yeah. I meet, like I would listen to this young man tell his story. This time last year, exactly this time last year, yeah. I was diagnosed with a liver, a liver infection. Yeah. I lost 40 pounds. Yeah. I went from working out three times a week, benching over 300 pounds. My life, man, I'm, I'm fresh. I'm, yeah. I'm getting at my best. Yeah. Two months later, I lost 40 pounds. I couldn't even lift my head off the pillow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. I was doing just like you. I was going to work. I was showing up. I got to show up. Yeah. got to show up. Yeah. I always show up. And then I realized, like, man, I, don't, I feel tired. Yeah. Why am I feeling tired? So what it, it made me recognize is that, man, I'm paying for insurance. I won't even go to the doctor. Mm-hmm. But I also grew up in a family. My father didn't go to the doctor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And his father didn't go to the doctor. So I'm like, you know what? I got to be the exception. That's right. If I'm not here, I can't affect no one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was laying in the bed, and, it, and it's amazing how God works. As I'm laying in the bed, I'm feeling sorry for myself. I'm like, man. Every time you know somebody gets sick, you'll jump up and you'll go. You'll go. No matter who it is, what your friends or whatever people going through, you dare. Mm-hmm. And the devil said, man, look at you. Ain't nobody here for you. That's right. You laying in this bed. How many people done call you? How many people done pulled up on you? That's it. Mm-hmm. And, and this is what God told me, and it's very important. Why am I here? And God said, how you going to be upset with people and they don't know you're sick? Mm-hmm. It is. Mm-hmm. And I was like, whoa. Take the mask off. Yeah. I realized that I never, I never tell people when I'm going through stuff. Mm-hmm. I just deal with it. Mm-hmm. And because people don't know you're hurting, they expect for me to be Mike. Right. I'm always Mike. Yeah. I'm always life of the party, always showing up. And God Smiling. reminded me. Diamond up. That diamond. Diamond up. <laughs> God reminded me that in this season of my life, as I become a better man, I got to be a better friend. Yeah. Uh, not be afraid to speak out. Tell people about health. Tell people and remind people that if you 
like you said earlier, if you feel yourself off, get yourself checked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The greatest gift you can give anyone is your time. Mm-hmm. And I just said, I just want to live long enough for my kids to see me, like I said, buy a house, change my mind, apologize, and be an example that other folks can feed from. Yeah. So there it is. That's me. Yes, Woo, man. fellas, the mask is coming No, that's off. the first question. Right. Come on. That man. was just round one. Wow. That was just round one. Man. Wow. Guys, I mean, that's that's deep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's deep. Um, this this is that man. Uh, yeah, that we right need, we need to hear this. This is the episode we really <laughs> need to know. So, we, you know, we, we, we shared a lot. We've opened up. We've right. already taken the mask off, guys. Right. Um, but before we get into round two, all right, I do want to read this, this, this statement to you guys. And it's really going to culminate everything that we've just shared, really. Think about it. So here we go. There is a mask that black men wear in the world to be safe in public spaces. Mm-hmm. Correct. We don't cry. We don't get mad. We don't feel pain. We don't get hurt. We do not have the right to exert authority or control. That's the mask of respectability. That's the mask right there. Walking into into public spaces without it can get us killed. True statement. The anxiety in our hearts can get us killed. Our fight or flight response when threatened can get us killed. Exertion of our very right to life and autonomy can get us killed. Mm -hmm. As we're conversating, guys, during this conversation, let's remove the mask. Let's take it off. Mm -hmm. Let's remove it. Let's speak freely. Be transparent, authentic, as we already have. Mm -hmm about our own experiences. With that being said, let's get into round two. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> um, these are the series of questions, all right. Um, first two, what thoughts and emotions have the murders of Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, and George Floyd brought up in you? What thoughts and emotions have those killings brought up in you. What has this been like for you? That's the first question, two questions. Uh, Second question, how has your reaction or the reaction of those around you surprised you, i.e. family, (laughs) not picking up a drink, but your best friend would do it, friends, girlfriends, et cetera? How has your reaction or the reaction of others around you surprised you? So with, right. with, the, with the second one, is that pertaining to the first question? No, these are separate questions. separate questions. These are separate questions. You can pick. You can pick one of these. All you right. Pick one of them. Pick one of them. I got two more. Um, to what extent have recent events impacted your everyday life and movement in the world? Second part of that, how has home life and work shifted? That'll probably be the question I pick. The last one, what are you doing for self-care? How are your sleep patterns, exercise, eating, relating, relationships? We talk about a lot of relationships, intimacy, connection, spiritual practices. You don't got to go into each one of them, but use that as a guide if you want to go into that self-care question. I know that's a lot. Uh, We got them on the slides. Take your time. Um, <laughs> I'll yeah, jump I'll to the first. self-care one, man. There it is. Uh, I'll I'll go, go, okay, go ahead. Yeah, I'll go first. Uh, that's, okay. the one I, that's the one I want to show you, the self-care one. <laughs> <All right. laughs> right, that's the one I want to show you. Um, <laughs> well, what am I doing for self-care? Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm learning more <laughs> to be able to do things <laughs> for not just peace, not just mental peace, okay. but, you know, Knowing that it's okay to, excuse me, it's okay for you to treat yourself and spoil yourself. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? When I say that, you know, going to, you know, getting your feet done, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Going, going out to eat, you know what I'm saying? Even if you ain't got nobody to go with you, you know what I'm saying? 
you know, go, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you've been an inspiration to me, bro, for real. I tell you that all the time. I be telling like, you, dog. When I, when, I, when, I, when I call you, you like, bro, I'm chilling, doing this. I'm like, who with you? I don't know about myself. I'm like, bro, how you do that? <laughs> don't I'm, 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 I'm getting there. Every time. I'm working on it. Now, if I could just get the traveling down pack like y'all got a down pack. <laughs> don't low. Like, like, every time. Don't, 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 don't low, baby. Oh, hey, I'm, 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 I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm definitely working on it. So it's uh, uh, exercising, go to the gym. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, definitely got a second chance at life, so I'm definitely not trying to mess it up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, Going to the doctors, and like I said, like you said, when you feel something, hey, I'm going to get it checked out. Get it checked. You know what I'm saying? Go to the doctor, get, get it checked routine. out. Get those Get those annuals, right. man. Get, get those saying? annual checks. Man. Eating habits definitely change. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've been basically really, um, I've been really on this little program that I started where, you know, you know, I had to drink, like, it's um, so much ginger water. water. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm drinking yeah. ginger water. Yeah. But basically, like, if I, if I eat something that night, <laughs> what about, what about, like, say I ate something around at 9 o'clock at night, okay? That's the last meal I have. I'm fasting from that time until it's time for me to eat lunch. Yeah. So I'm missing breakfast and stuff like that. And yeah. I'm, just drink, I'm just sipping the ginger water and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And, then, like, and then by the time it's time for lunch, then I'm having lunch. But I, I, when I tell you, at first I was like, eh, I don't think it's going to work. But when I stuck to it, and I tell you, bro, like right. my body feels amazing. Yeah. Usually when I run somewhere and come back, I be like, whoo, no, nah, bro, right. I'm running to my car and different things and coming back like, like I ain't never ran yet. Like, like right. my body feels like so much different. Right. But that's, that's me taking care of myself, you know, doing the proper things, going to the gym. Um, the intimacy part and relationship part, that's still up in the air. I'm saying, you know, I got you. Um, like I said, the, old, the older you get, like me and you, AC, we yeah, were just talking about this the other day, man. Yeah. The older you get, it's not about how many you can, you can catch no more, man. Like I said, as you get in your upper 40s or whatever, now it's about peace and just finding that one that you can just do a lot with. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, you know, you that, don't want, that, you don't want to catch a bunch of fish, man. No, nah, no. but listen, I, I just want that one I can do everything. So when you can swim, no, I, I, no, we, we no can swim. No, 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 no quantity, no quantity, no more. The biggest thing is not just that you know, saying somebody that like I don't know it all. So somebody who's not afraid to say, hey, you know what? I know this. Let me teach you that. Yeah. Because that's how I am. Yeah. If you don't know something, I'm going to teach you that. Yeah. But I want you to be. Don't think I'm just you no know, smarter than a field grader. I'm saying no, if no, yeah. I want you. If, if you that woman that see me do, even if it's something that I'm doing that you have no earthly idea of how to do it, yet and still you coming to me from a um, standpoint where you it's common sense. I'm saying to me that's more valuable than you knowing everything I'm doing right. because my thing is the common sense part of it is saying hey you need to do it like this or uh, basically. Don't no, don't get too deep into it where you don't think about it like that. And so, so it's definitely, you know, for me, that's where I am with that. Gotcha. So I'm going to jump in on the self-care as well, man. Like, I'm a big proponent of self-care. Um, get my feet done. Um, you know, yeah. taking myself out to dinner. Mm-hmm. Trips out of the country because I don't believe in traveling in the, in, in the U.S. <laughs> like, if, get I'm, out. <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm traveling, I'm outside, baby. Right. You have you, have you been to all the 50 states yet, though? I don't care to go. That's the thing. Like, I don't, I don't want right. to go. Go where I, you want to go. Yeah, exactly. I want to go outside of the country. Right. I don't want to go to 50 right. states. I can do this when I'm older. <laughs> I don't want to get on a plane when I'm 60. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I make my boys take me to all 50 states when I'm 60. <laughs> hey, boy, pack that bag. We going this weekend. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, That's right. uh, yeah. So I'm 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 on a plane, man. I'm I'm out here. Yeah, you know. Uh, That's good for your mental too, man. Yeah, man. man. You know, just and, to and just to uh, unwind reset. and reset. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then too for me, yeah. like I, I think a, a a big part of it is like I've always been like like I've always been curious about other countries, other cultures, yeah. the way other people live. Yeah, and then being in the military too, it like it like just kind of you know. Escalate yep. that, you That's know. Right. It's like, oh man. Yeah. Um, but sleep patterns and exercise, you know, eating, like, oh, trying to change that eating pattern. Um, been exercising more. I got a trainer. You know, shouts out to Coach Jordan, man. He be wearing me out. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Paul, but Paul, yeah, yeah, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, but, but Coach Jay, you know, uh, 21. You know, he be, you know, get making sure I'm, you know. 
<laughs> growing. There it is. You know, yeah. and, and making sure um, you know, progressing, you know, with this exercise thing so I can be here. Uh, longer, you know, I got a little bit longer to terrorize my boys. You gonna be ready for yeah. that? Yeah. We gonna, we gonna have that bro code gym day. Hey, it's coming, baby. Hey, I'm almost there. Yeah, we gonna, hey, man, we gonna film that one. We gonna film that one. Yeah, we can film it. We, we can, can film, film it. Now. We can yeah. definitely. Yeah. Film. I'm always starting uh, membership and yeah. invite other brothers. Yeah. That's, that's right. right. That's yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you already know you invite. What you got, Mike? Jump in, man. What you got? What you got? Let's keep it going. Hey, man, I like that first one that talk about the George Floyd, man. Yeah, like the Breonna Taylor and all that. Man, what what that did for me? It it reminded me how quickly things can be gone. Yes. yes. I remember, yes. man, I, I used to love the party. Y'all know me. I yeah. used to yeah, love the yeah, party. Yeah. <laughs> I remember me and my cousin, man, we was going to the Grand Central Station in Dothan. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you already know. So no we're, going, them, baby. we're going to Central Station, man, and I'll never forget, I'm going <laughs> to Alabama. I get in a small town called Webb. Time I get into town, you have to make a right. I said, man, I can get that quicker. I cut this way. Yeah. So I, I go across the railroad track, and it's a big curve. Go around the big curve. It's so deep, steep. You have to slow down. Yeah. Time I get around the curve, it's great. Not the police officer flash the lights. I'm like, it must be somebody else. Like, mm. it can't be me. Mm -hmm. Pull me over. Uh, let me see your license registration. You was going uh, 50 and a 35. I'm like, 50. Like, bro, this this curve too steep for that right there. Yeah. I couldn't have been going 35. Yeah. And in that moment. Right there in that dark side of the road, mm. that white officer started cursing. You can't tell me what it is. I know it is. He was cussing. He turned all red. Yeah. He had his gun, hand on his gun. I'm like, bruh, for a traffic stop. Right. So it reminded me of that night. Mm -hmm. He asked me for my driver's license. I gave him my driver's license. He said, Let me see your registration. And this was before they could put a registration on the tag. Yeah. So my cousin, I said, it's in the glove compartment. He said, okay. My cousin reached for the glove compartment. And he pulled his gun out. And I told my cousin, freeze. Yeah. yeah. In that moment, I realized I was powerless. Wow. He yeah. had all the control. Yep. That's yeah. right. You're going to shoot a person who had never been arrested in their life yeah. over a traffic stop? Yeah. Yeah. And it happen. reminded me with the George Floyd thing, how quickly things, mm -hmm. you know, you don't have to be in the wrong for somebody to take your life. Right. right. So it, yeah. it just reminded me how easily. And then with Breonna Taylor, when the police went to, to her house, it's like, man, I have to talk to my kids now. Yes. It's a That's different right. type of conversation. Yeah. And people say, man, why people see, be so angry at the police? It's not all police, mm -hmm. but the fear. Yeah. I was going through carpet one time, and the officer pulled me over because I had the little blue light on my rim, and he came up with a hand on his gun. And I'm like, my hand on the steering wheel, and, I, and, I, and I'm talking to my friend on the phone, and he asked me for my idea. I gave it to him. He was like, you know, officer, I said, he said, why are you nervous? I said, uh, no, nah. I said, I'll be fearing for my life every time I get pulled over. He said, police officer don't shoot black people no more. I said, you must don't watch the news. He said, yeah, yeah, but the no, fact he no, said, no, no more. more. No right. more, exactly. No more. I said, you must don't watch the news. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. And I said, I said, think about how I feel. I said, you, yeah. you say you pulled me over because I had a light on my rim. Mm. Not that you thought I was a criminal, right. but you came with, well, your, you breaking with, your, the law. with your gun. Right. You're sitting there with your hand on your gun like oh, you man. thought I was going to do something. Wow. So it just reminds me, man, you got to be real careful. Talk to your kids. Talk to your family members. It could be gone. Important. It could be, it could be right. gone. <laughs> it could be, I, I want to piggyback off that real quick. So I got a friend real quick, two seconds. So I got a friend who just found out she was pregnant. You know, congratulations. What a baby boy. First thing she did, she hit me up. She said, I'm scared. Right, yeah. <laughs> and she said, how did you raise three boys in this society? Oh, man, it's scary, man. It's yeah. scary. And, and it's also, scary. to piggyback off of it, literally, <clears throat> I went through the same thing. But mine was a little, I'm saying, a little crazy. I'm saying, because that basically, the cops pulled me over. And like you said, I'm looking at, it can't, can't be me. You understand? You pulled me out, searched my truck, took my pistol, everything. Because I was in a white neighborhood. Yeah. So, it was, it, and like you said, I felt powerless. Yep. Yeah. Powerless. So, Rico, let's go. Let so, me so, so do it real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> in black men, right, mm -hmm. that is common, right? So, I'm not even going to go there because I got my stories too, right? <laughs> right. So, we all so, do. So, so, gonna do so my, so my thing that. is going to be, you know, on the, on the recent... Uh, recent events impacting me right okay. now, right? Okay. So I know we dealing with, you know, we got the war in Ukraine, mm -hmm. we got the stuff going over in Israel and, and, and all that kind of stuff, Palestine, right? Yeah. Palestine, right? Um, and so we, I feel like we sit over here in the United States like we safe, right? Well, because, not, because, you know, it's you, you, there's no fear of like a ground attacks and, and, and all this kind of stuff. So, but, we, but we sit over here safe, right? right? And so my fear is that, you know, 
it, it don't take but a little bit of something to disrupt the nation, mm -hmm. right? right? And when that when that when that disruption happens, or if it happens, right, it's gonna be where now we're gonna be against ourselves because it's gonna be like take from this person, take, because when you start running out of resources, right, mm -hmm. then you're going to try to take from the next person, right? You're going to yeah. do whatever it takes to survive, yeah. right? Yeah. And so today, my actual fear is that, you know, again, we sit over here comfortable. We, we sit, you know, all these other countries, they've dealing with wars and all this kind yeah. of stuff for years, right? Yeah. And we sitting over here comfortable, right? And we may be sitting too comfortable, right? And so we as a people, right, not black, just people in general, yeah. may not be ready for something like that to happen in the United States, right? Yeah. Most people, they say, don't even have enough food to last 72 hours, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. right? Yeah. Let alone, you know, defend themselves and things like that, right? So, yeah. so, so some of this stuff is... Coronavirus showed us how susceptible we are to, 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 to things, right. Right? Yep. right? You know what I mean? So right. you got to think about something like that and then just magnify that a little bit, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, we we can have some serious problems. We can't. Yeah, the sixth day showed me it, that you gotta be prepared when yeah. you saw them attack. Yeah, the building like that, all yeah. them come to that. Now they were unified. Yeah. So yeah. so so think they about it. Always are. Yeah yeah yeah. So I mean, it was a you know there was a, the 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 Revolutionary War, mm -hmm. right? right? They were they were supposed patriots, right? Mm -hmm. So what's to keep somebody from forming a huge group of people and they say we patriots now? Yeah. But that's how that's how the parties became about, right? Correct. That's how the you know Republican Democrat party like they didn't one one group of people inside the party didn't agree with what was going on, and yeah. so they said, "Oh, yeah. we're gonna go over here and create a whole and, another and, one." And, and yeah. we all know your boy. You know the boy y'all I'm talking about. He got a whole lot of followers. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, so and I'm he got some shoes now. So. I'm, I'm gonna close it out with mine. Yeah, I actually, I, I'm actually gonna switch gears uh, because I don't want to go too deep, and it's not enough time for us. Because we've, I mean, we've we've shared a lot. You know, so hey, we might, this is yeah, we, this could this could be a part two okay. for sure. But uh, for me, uh, I wanted to touch on the extent of something happening in my life, but I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna plateau that. Uh, but for me, self care has become very important for me. Um, I haven't really done good with the exercise piece, um, but I have been very intentional about working on my mental by. Uh, joining small groups in my church, mm -hmm. men's group, Iron Sharpens Iron. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> divorce care really helped me out through my through my divorce uh, through church. So those support groups, of course, therapy, uh, working on my mental, Always, making yeah. sure I get enough sleep. Um, I know you touched on intermittent fasting. Mm -hmm. That has really helped me too uh, with my eating habits. You know, doing a um, sixteen eight. So that's that that's that's it for me. Um, guys, I really appreciate it. But before we close out, I, I do want to take this time. Um, cause I feel it's very important and we don't do enough of it. Uh, I'm gonna take the lead on this and we're going to close out. Um, each and every one of you guys means so much to me. Um, I couldn't be where I'm at right now if it wasn't for everybody sitting here and everybody in this room. Um, so I'm very grateful and I'm going to give you your individual flowers and the way I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to thank you, praise you for what I've seen. I'm gonna start with Tony. Tony, you volunteer your time to come and mentor us, do the behind the scenes that nobody sees, and you do it effortlessly. Mm -hmm. I'm watching this and I'm like, wow, I, I, I wanna be like that. Right? That's volunteers. Yeah. Thank you so much. Bro. Selfless. Mm -hmm. right. Orlando, I watched you on your I don't want to say deathbed, but you were there. You were, you were, you were fighting for. You didn't know. Mm -hmm. When I saw you there, it scared me, because I saw a young man, not knowing what's next. Right. I saw your sister next to you. I prayed with you. Never done that before. And to see you come out of it and do what you're doing, bro, it's amazing. It's something you should be very proud of. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful to have you in my life. McKinley, you are the first friend that I've had to talk to me as an older brother in a way of no judgment, sharing with me your deepest, darkest secret that you found that I could relate to, 
you were the first man that said, bro, let's pray together. And you did it in front of my house. You taught me that that's what men need. That catapulted for me to be able to do that to Orlando. Right. Thank you for being transparent. Cool. I watched you grow from a boy to a man. I see how you take pride in yourself, your family, your friends, and you give your experiences and you share them with others to encourage them and push them through. That's what you've done for me. Thank you. Rico, I've had the privilege of knowing you in a short period of time. That has allowed me to see how you are with your family. Stand up man, loves his family, leads his family, makes it comfortable for other kids to be around your kid and see the respect and say, Mr. Rico's cool. We had a great time. Daddy, that's a good family. Thank you for letting me see that and letting my kids see that. Mr. Patrick, Mark. Yes, sir. Thank y'all so much for running this professional studio that y'all have and blessing us with the service and the quality that you give us. Thank y'all so much. With that being said, fellas. And the grace and compassion. <laughs> the grace and compassion. That's right. Oh, <laughs> so with that, that is man. our final season. Is that it? That's oh, it, man. We so live. Final episode. Final episode. That's our final season. Final episode of season four. Thanks again for watching. Bro, bro. See. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no